What is good? Thanks for joining us for yet another show. Last night, we brought you a little Carson Wentz and some indie action. Tonight, as promised, we're going to give you the flip side of that and talk a little Jalen Hurts and some Eagles action, but mostly Jalen Hurts and whether or not he's the QB1 of the future for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I have both of my cohorts here today, which has been rare as of late, especially on YouTube shows. Uh, who do you who wants to go first? The big coach took the glasses off. Let's go big coach to go first. I took the glasses off. I re- <laughs> rearranged the cough drop. Got it, you know, tucked in back there. Hopefully it doesn't fly out when I'm trying to talk. You um, can't get COVID through Zoom, right? <laughs> no COVID, no COVID. <laughs> Boys asked me at the doctor if I would take a COVID test, and I said, hell no. Hell no. I've already had it. I know what it's like, and I don't have it, and I'm not taking a chance on a false positive because you're not taking away my daycare. <laughs> I said, "Is what? There's no chance I'm taking that." So I COVID just had this shit right a couple now. months ago. I'm good. I got all. I got a little sinus infection. That's it. I already know. Yeah. I'm, I've already checked it out. WebMD. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what the funny part, if you tell a doctor that you're self-diagnosed, wait on the eye roll. It ain't gonna take you long. <laughs> yeah. You tell a doctor, "I'm our, I'm self-diagnosed. I know what's going on, doc." Then boys hit you with the strongest eye roll. Um, no, 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 I'm fine, doctor. <laughs> Well, I'm a self-diagnosed fantasy expert, so I don't know what we're <laughs> ready. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's let's get into it here. So obviously, you had the Carson Wentz trade go down, affects Jalen Hurts. He had a nice little run fantasy wise uh, for the Eagles there, and then had a ridiculous benching at the end of the season. Um, it did elevate the Eagles' pick, I believe, three or four picks there. So it was kind of silly, but maybe maybe the front office was. Uh, calling in and hitting you with the, Hey, Hey, Bubba, we, we've had Sudfield here for a while. Let's get him in here. We can move up. Th- you know how much this would cost us in the draft to move up three picks. Uh, let's, let's get in there. So maybe There's not a great so dumb, loss for the it Eagles. didn't matter. Great loss for the Eagles. Uh, but it's not like Jalen hurts was crushing it, but he definitely gave him a better chance to win. I believe he was seven to 20 when they pulled him. Um, they weren't winning without him. Um, let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. So, the Philadelphia Eagles are now in the position of drafting at six, which is a lot of speculation that they're going to exhaust all options of seeing what quarterback they can get there and, and what to do with that selection. Uh, their, they've, their GM coined the phrase quarterback factory. Last year, they obviously had a, uh, a, a player in Carson Wentz who they had kind of anointed as their guy, and then they come back and draft Jalen Hurts as a quote-unquote security piece, and now we're, we are where we are. So I, I would – wouldn't put it past them. They're not going to be like, Oh, well, we're not going to do that again. Like I, I think they're going to do that again. If, if they feel good about, and it could very well be another North Dakota state guy in uh, what's, what's homeboy's name. I'm, I'm Trey Lance. right now. And Trey, Trey Lance. Lance. Yeah. So yeah. that would be a wild ride. Just all in on the bison. Yeah. It would be. There. That'd be sick. Pick up for them boys. I'll tell you the Madding ratings, like, like some Trey Lance pre-draft. I like Trey Lance a lot. So right. Madden ratings, Madden loves some Trey Lance right now. Get into a, a franchise and download this year's draft class. Uh, the actual rookies into your Madden, um, you get some real ratings. I don't know how legit the uh, combine type stats are because they're hit real no combine. The Madden ratings are out there just doing forties off a of game tape, but uh, they got Trey, Trey Lance is is a big Madden guy right now. Yeah, I I, I could probably I could see Madden why he's a he, superstar X factor. He uh, yeah, well that's that's what I was gonna, I was Madden read my mind uh, so. <laughs> doesn't t- doesn't turn it over can run around and he's got a he's got a pretty pretty good arm so so let's just get into our general thoughts on um how you feel about Jalen Hurts you you holding buying selling what are you doing you feel like he's the guy all, all, all of the above who who wants to go first there like obviously there's a chance that uh they they do draft a guy so you know do you do you buy do you sell what do you do with Jalen Hurts well, and then how do you feel about it let's let's talk about whether or not we think he's going to be the starter next year right because even if they do take a quarterback then he could still play right and they could still like want to I mean they got a long way to go with the Eagles so maybe they want to lose another year and throw him out there I mean he does give him a, a chance to win but that team is bad so I I, I don't know why I don't know. There's just so much pressure in this day and age. So if they do draft a quarterback at six, it's going to be a lot of pressure for them to, to play him. But I mean, I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see, to see what big Co thinks. This is like the second time I had to come on here and give big Co a victory lap. Cause I said back in the super flex rookie mock, I was like, what a waste to pick. Take a Jalen hurts. Why would you, why would you do that? 
And now you look pretty decent if you took him somewhere in the third round. And I think you probably could flip him for a second if you wanted to, or you could wait and hold and see if like he's named the starter, maybe get him for a second. What in, in a super flex, a second round pick. Yeah. Oh, you get a lot more net for him. You can get um, a lot more than that for Jalen yeah, right now in a super flex. I just trade him straight up for just, um, Justin Jefferson in a league what? where I got tons of quarterbacks. Um, super flex. Yeah. Um, Whoa, that is that is a terrible that's, trade on the yeah, other person. That's just a bad trade. Go. I mean, I, I don't think I don't I don't think you that get anywhere crazy. near that. It's, there's just so much questioned right now. You How will, would uh, you give up Justin Jefferson for a guy who might not even be a quarterback next year? If you look at if you look at Superflex ADP, they're neck and neck. Yeah. Um, well, that won't. I, they yeah. are. Jalen I hurts. gave I gave up the Jalen. I gave up the quarterback part of it. I gave up the quarterback in the Superflex because on the chance that Jalen Hurts is not a quarterback in the, you know, a starting quarterback in two years. Um, but that, uh, you know, Casey mentioned burn and build in with the Eagles. The whole team is uh, uh, comparable to a dumpster fire right this second. And they're going, they're heading in a lot of different directions and mainly trending down. Um, so the burden could necessarily be on the court. I think Jalen Hurts gives us the best chance to win a football game week one next year. Depending on no matter who they draft, um, I mean, if they move up and get a stud at the top, that might be different. But uh, you saw, I mean, Jalen, I, I think the the poise that he showed in the pocket would pretty of pretty of, of offense imploding around him. I thought was pretty solid. Everybody knows how um, <coughs> he he. I think it was quarterback four and in in scoring for the the games that he started for I mean it wasn't many it's very small sample size yeah. end of the year two and, and a many half. teams are actually giving a crap all that good stuff obviously uh that last game it was a battle until they pulled him out um for t- technical reasons strat- strategic traffic <laughs> reasons it was a good it was a good play by the Eagles um I think that like a one quarterback league Casey and I got a uh, a message an email the other day in the league saying hey uh, Jalen Hurts is available for um, a second round pick. And if it's a one quarterback league and Jalen Hurts could make a difference for you, it's the stay in power. That's the question mark. And it should be the question mark in most people's minds as far as fantasy is com- concerned. I mean, if you're thinking about the kid's future and he's, you know, if you hoping for the best for him, he's a great dude. I hope he's a mm-hmm. quarterback in the league and makes a ton of money for a long time to support his family. But we're talking about fantasy football. And you have to be worried about the staying power. I feel like short term, the the ceiling on the dude is 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 pretty incredible because he's he's obviously different in Lamar Jackson with, with the the running. I said that last year pre, you know, as we're coming out of the NFL draft when the Eagles took him, and yeah, that same super flex mock that you're talking about, Jay. I just said you got to take a chance on him here because if he gets in to be a starter, it's it's. It's how fantasy quarterbacks score points right. if you're not Aaron Rodgers and you're not Patrick Mahomes on a consistent basis. And the fantasy points just come when that dude is running the ball. And he threw a couple of nice touchdown passes. And if you're running the ball effectively, then the defense has to open up. The thing about it is, and I'll turn it back over to y'all, and I'm not obviously I'm I'm just comparing these two guys because not because they're black quarterbacks that run, but because they're quarterbacks that people doubt them about their ability to throw and and for different reasons. They're two different athletes. I said that last year in that same Jalen Hurts is coming at you like Cam Newton. Lamar Jackson is coming at you like Michael Vick. Completely two different quarterbacks. Both guys have success on their own right. Uh, but the Ravens, what we saw in the last couple of years, was an all-in approach. Exactly. Compl- you know, an all-in approach to completely encompass everything Lamar Jackson does and try to make build their entire team around what he does. And the Eagles right now, and the, co- and the coaching staff on the Ravens, we all know they're never out of it. They're always they're they're never even rebuilding. They're reloading. Yeah, Ravens the front been, office and the coaching staff are all on the same page and and how they're moving and, and have what they're been doing. like that for fifteen years, um, for a long time. So maybe maybe even more than fifteen years. So going back way before. I mean, the drafting of Ray Lewis and back all the. I mean, all the way through, just all through his entire career, solid. Ozzie Newsom's last last draft class pulled in Lamar Jackson. You see the GM retires and he, he drafts a quarterback at the end of the first round and the team goes all in around him after the GM walks out the door. Like some franchises would just crumble under those circumstances, but he's like, yo, look at this guy. He's an absolute gazelle. And 
we're going to just pick him up at the end of the first round here because we can. The luxury picked him walk off GM retirement. Like the Eagles are just falling apart over here. And Jalen Hurts is the man standing there with the football. And it's just like, do you know they're not going to go all in on Jalen Hurts? I just, it just, and if they did, even yeah. if they try to go all in on tra- Jalen Hurts, I don't have the confidence that they can pull that off like the Ravens did. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I semi agree with most of what you said there, Big Co. I guess I'll kind of un- unpack this from the beginning of that conversation backwards. Jay, Jay Wayne kind of uh, <clears throat> alluded to Jalen Hurts as maybe being they maybe they do draft a quarterback and Jalen Hurts gives them ability to be kind of the fall guy for them of like, hey, we're going to put him out there and it's OK if it doesn't go that well. Like if it doesn't go that well, we can blame it on Jalen Hurts. Right. And now we can come in here with a clean slate, maybe near the end of the year and let the other quarterback play and start and do his thing. Um, I, I, I you got to be a little bit worried about the longevity of of Jalen Hurts right now. I didn't think that the value wise from what you were saying big co if you could get that much for him then it's an obvious flip i looked it up and jefferson is at 20 in in super flex and and jalen hurts is all the way up at 36 i think or maybe 35 so that's closer than i thought but still that adp is before that's that's got that's before the wince trade sure so yeah. you give it a month for that to factor in, and it'll be farther up because of the uncertainty of the of the startability of him. I, I, might, I might say it might go the opposite way. But now you don't know about the, the actual. Where now um, they did it so quickly that the they can draft another quarterback, and now that might hurt Jalen Hurts' stock. I right. can't um, believe you got Justin Jefferson. That is fucking awesome. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, yes, yeah, so that's so good about it. It was in our Patreon league. Initial thought was that oh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move Jalen Hurts because I probably drafted him in the third round and and you know I, I didn't think you'd be able to get I think people would be worried about the longevity of him and wouldn't want to move off anything more than you know maybe two seconds or something and at that point I'm just going to hold and see what happens uh, but if you can get a whole lot if you can get a first or if you can get a a, a a a good young or really a good any player I think I'm down to to make the move there um one thing that you said there, Big Co, is, you know, you said, hey, I, you got to draft this guy because this is how these guys um, score fantasy score points. Fantasy points. And, and, yeah, he Jalen Hurts helped a lot of people out through the playoffs last year, going into the playoffs, getting into the playoffs and all that kind of stuff. So any people who had those, he's going to have a special little spot in their heart and they're going to be in on Jalen Hurts. Uh, but that was something that I think um, – I did not know it. Of course, I knew that running fantasy quarterbacks were what you wanted, but I overlooked uh, part of confusing the two things. Like you don't, I don't have to believe in you being a great starter in the NFL and being able to do NFL things. Right. Uh, And I think that's the part that I got a little twisted up and I was a little against Lamar Jackson and I was definitely against Jalen hurts. Hey, I still don't think Lamar Jackson is a great quarterback. But that doesn't matter. Like, it it really doesn't. Like, he's on a bad day for fantasy wise, and 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 really for a a quarterback wise, they went all in and they can go around him. I don't necessarily think he's the formula for getting to the ultimate goal uh, for them because I just think there is a little bit to be desired. Now we'll we'll see moving forward, and they're all young guys, and they can certainly grow and develop. But as far as fantasy goes, sure, a a bad day for those guys is a good day on your fantasy team. And a regular day for them is a great day on your fantasy team. And then if they crush, you're not losing. I know. Right. So that's, that's the part of the equation that, that I, I I knew better. And, and I just, you know, I took all the, I I was, I would be more interested in the quarterbacks who were a little bit more polished from playing the actual position from a traditional standpoint. And, and that was definitely an incorrect way to look at it. Whereas, yeah, Jalen Hurts was absolutely the play. Lamar Jackson was absolutely the play. And you saw what happens when Jalen Hurts gets in there. He can, you know, per, you know, take you to the next level. No, I don't. You know, I would disagree with saying that I saw poise from Jalen Hurts in the pocket. I think I saw the opposite of that. I saw what I saw in college where he dropped back. The first read wasn't there. Boom. My eyes are down and I'm moving out. And now I'm kind of looking down the field, but I'm mostly looking to run. Um, mostly looking to run. And that's where you get getting a fantasy Which, points which from. in real life, that would make me <clears throat> furious. Um, <laughs> but in fantasy, it was fantastic. And yeah, he is a little bit more like Cam Newton, except he's got a little bit more wiggle than Cam Newton did, but he's built like a brick shit house. And it's not, I like, 
Jalen Hurts as a human being. I think he's a good leader. He's got a good attitude. He has all the right things. I just don't think he's the best decision maker and has the best arm for throwing the football. His deep ball is okay, but everything else is, to me, isn't super great, but it doesn't really matter. Like, it's just like Lamar Jackson when he's rolling and doing his thing. Like, the reason that it works is because those throws now become easy. Um, And now people have kind of figured out, hey, we're going to stack up the middle of this field on Lamar Jackson and we're going to make you throw outside. And that's where he's had his struggles. But still, fantasy wise, you know, yeah, it wasn't he wasn't worth the second, third overall startup pick in in Superflex like you were drafting him coming in last year. But he's certainly still a very viable option. The question is, is when does that carousel run out of saying, hey, we're going to we've kind of went all in around you and now we like the departure from this of getting back to maybe doing something a little bit more traditional is going to take a year or two. So when do we start, when do we say, Hey, this experiment didn't necessarily fail, but isn't maybe we realize it's not going to get us to the point where we're going to get, we want to get to. Um, and I think I mean, that's, I, 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 I completely agree with that. And I agree with what a lot of you guys said. I, I don't, I, I don't think they're going to build around him, right? I don't know what they're building around. They don't they don't have any building right now. Like they they don't like most of that team is 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 old and has been breaking up from players to coaches coaching from when staff they were good a couple everyone, years ago. Right. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to be out of there pretty soon and it's like uh I, I don't see them building around Jalen Hurts. Now Jalen Hurts very well could be the starter next year. But that's when you say it doesn't matter that he's not a good quarterback, it doesn't matter for fantasy, but I, if he doesn't win them games, I doubt he has a starting job the next year, even if he is serviceable, you know, a serviceable mm-hmm. quarterback. Yeah, I he guess doesn't I show guess. enough improvement. I don't think he's going to be there for two years. So I think you need to take that into consideration sure. when you're playing, that- you're, you're trading, is, is how much does this one year going to help you versus, you know, we might be without a quarterback the next year. And, and, and that needs to definitely be at the forefront of your mind when you're making these trades. Yeah. And I, I think I was kind of to clear, like I was kind of more so saying in that rookie draft process of picking those guys up and holding things against them. Sure. That, that, that was the wrong process uh, I that agree. I was using. I said there. Jalen Hurst is a wasted pick. <laughs> um, and you know, the, you, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the, that's the double edged sword of this thing. How long does that, carousel go around until it's like hey either this guy i mean fuck kyler murray i think he's good but i mean there's parts <laughs> of his game that you that you worry about it a little bit don't you mm-hmm. like he's not well, quite picking it he, all up like you want him to and it, god it's we we he, get so reactionary over everything and everything has to be so fast these guys have been in the league for fucking two three years and they're supposed to be hall of famers already and it's just you know the college games while it's getting closer to the nfl it's still not the nfl agreed agreed I'd be looking to move him. If I could get something close to Justin, I don't even well, need to get fuck Justin. Yeah. If I can get anywhere close if to, I can get to a the first, ADP I'm, I'm range. Out. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think you could get a first. In Me neither. Because I would assume that people don't. I wouldn't do it. So I was like, right. well, everybody, why would you do that? That's right. This guy's barely. But I mean. Right. I'd, I'd hold for a second, you know. For sure. You, it could turn into a first, you know, at some point, either during the season or whenever he gets named the starter. I mean, right. we're probably yeah, not going to know that for a while. Which I don't know why people are so gung ho making trades right now. Anyways, like I just saw Cortland Sutton get traded for Miles Gaskin, and it's like you don't even know if Miles Gaskin is going to be the guy there next year. Maybe I'm down to hold Miles Gaskin, but you can see, see you you'll be out of here for Cortland Sutton and heartbeat Miles Gaskin. Like, exactly. what do you do? You you think you need running back help, so you just traded for Miles Gaskin? Was I, anyway? Like, y'all need to settle down and let these situations play out. But but in terms of things like this, where you don't know the the value could potentially take a big hit, and it will take a hit if they draft a quarterback, which they probably will do, and then they'll probably be like, "Well, we're not going to start him first anyway." But you're not going to know that until after the draft. So you can take this opportunity right now to cash out. I probably would if you could get top value, but I'm a hold yeah. for a second and see what plays out, and, and then maybe. Yeah, right. you know, but you just spent a third on him, so what does it matter? You my, know, my initial thought process coming in was like, "Fuck, I just spent maybe a, a high third, mid third, or even late second. And it's like at this point, like I'm gonna just hold because I don't like. Yeah, you could go with the theory of like, oh, get that second and reload your gun and shoot again. But it's like, no, nah, I'm gonna just if this, if he ends up being the starter and good, then I'm fine. And what am I really getting out of this deal? I did shoot. That's why I shot this shot. Like I'm waiting. Yeah. Like that's the whole reason I shot it. And um, and in a one QB league, get, if you could get what you're what you're talking about. Like that's there's no, that's a no brainer. Yeah, well, it was a super flex and a dude had a dude had a nasty roster and he only had Russell Wilson. 
and he had just gotten he actually just gotten Je- Je- um justin jefferson for cheap cheapish and i was like he was asking me we tried we went back and forth on the deal and i was like listen i need i, I need justin jefferson i got a um, crazy amount of i got dax I got Dak and Mahomes. How do Ryan our Tana patrons Hill not know some... to not make trades with Big Co? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody will make a trade with Big Co. He's usually winning that motherfucker. No, no, I'm good. We're good. Oh, no. um, <laughs> well, we say that. We get so mad at these trades that Big Co makes, and it ends up being terrible in the long run for him. See? But initially, See? we're like, why would you do that with Big Co? Why is everybody think, yeah. making these trades with him? What can All I right. do? I, I can nothing got, I can do about it. You guys got any closing thoughts? I had something a minute ago, but it just escaped my my brain there. Oh, um, sorry. Oh uh, well, it, the the rest of the squad for the Eagles there, like you you saw the impact of them boys getting back to a little bit more of a balanced attack. Miles, where Miles Sanders was Sanders. actually being useful, and obviously, if there's a running quarterback, the um the Miles the Sanders is the only one scoring can benefit from that fantasy um, points so on that. Team. That was obviously you need to build, rebuild that line because uh, they're old and 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 beat up, but. Miles Sanders was a huge beneficiary of, of Jalen hurts and, and the play calling switching up from, you know, Doug Peterson, Hayden Carson Wentz and never calling run plays even against teams that can't stop the run. And um, so I think, you know, Jalen Rager, I don't know, like that's, it sucks to have drafted Jalen Rager right now because they're just so in limbo right there. But if they do bring in Trey Lance, he's kind of a dual threat guy. And I would assume they're going to lean on the run a little bit more. So I think, I think Miles Sanders is an okay position, but certainly not the I mean, Eagles that you thought that I think Miles Sanders was on and in that organization of a solid organization. Um, and you still don't know if they're going to bring in another running back and maybe he escaped right. running back purgatory, or maybe he's about to be right back in it. So I right. mean, part I, of me wants to say it's definitely stock up because of the results that were on the field last year at the end of the season with Hertz and Miles Sanders, I would, I would say stock up Miles Sanders, but you still got to dodge a draft bullet. So. Yeah. And maybe go trade for Zach Hertz. That's basically why. Uh, go trade for Zach Hertz. Yeah. Not, yeah. You got to get I'm cheap. Not, he's not going to be on the Eagles and I'm, he's, I'm, 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 he's so, so cheap. I mean, there's no reason at all not to go have him right now. But that's all I got. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. We'll, uh, we just had to hit you with a quick Wentz and, and Jalen Hurts videos. We'll, we'll get back to the rookie draft profile breakdowns for yeah. your pleasure. Rashad Bateman on the way. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Get notifications. That way you get all these things right to your little fingertips. You don't have to go looking for it. And uh, so we got Wentz coming out. We got Hurts coming out. And then Bateman will be shortly after that. So like I said, hit that subscribe. Appreciate you all listening to us. Catch you next time. Love it. <laughs>